Good evening. 8.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Thursday, November 10th, 2022. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. And oh, I can promise you, I can promise you from me to you, this is going to be a spicy meat the ball. And I'm looking at each and every one of you because we have to go over quite a few things tonight. First of all, we have to discuss a very important topic that not very many others are covering as of right now. Tether is trying to de-peg as we speak. Now, the most notable thing and the most noticeable thing is Bitcoin's price. Bitcoin's price in U.S. dollars is at 17624 But at the exact same time, it's at 17665 a 40-point differential from the U.S. dollar. Sometimes as high as 50 to 60 as it comes unhinged. This is a remarkable differential right here, ladies and gentlemen. You can also see it reflected with XRP and the USD at 39.67 and XRP and USDT at 39.76. So you're seeing a separation. It's much easier to see in Bitcoin as it's greater than 40 points right now. Anywhere between 35 and 40 on average. So when we look at it, Tether is slightly de-pegging. This is a major story that never gets talked about. You do not want Tether to be de to be depegged. You also don't want Tether to go away. I've been calling for it and prophesizing for it for a long time because there's no actual government bonds backing Tether. So it causes a big problem. And with what happened in the CPI report today, let me break it down for everybody. And this is where it starts to get a little bit of spicy meat the ball factor here. So if you're not going to like the stronger language, if you're not going to like the louder tone, you're probably not going to like the way I do things. But if you want to stick around and hear the truth and be fucking shattered, or actually understand what's going on and it'll actually break you back into reality, this is the perfect spot to be. So with the CPI report today, let me break it down real quickly. The CPI inflation went up. Month over month, it was up. Now, what ends up happening is the people who put the numbers in for the CPI and the inflation and what is going to come out as the data. So let's put it this way. Let's say that I... Mm, let's say that you were going to buy a house. Let's say you're buying it and interest rates are at 6%. Well, you don't have any money for the down payment. So you ask them, what do you think the estimated monthly uh, interest rate or the interest rate will be next month or in three months? And they're like, oh, well, it's 6% now. But with the climate, if you come back in 60 days, it'll be 6.6%. And you're like, oh, shit, 6.6%. Well, you go back and it's 6.4%. And they're like, oh, I got some good news, Tom. You know, it's only 6.4%. We thought it was going to be 6.6%. So really... You're saving 0.2% and you're looking like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not going to pay an extra 0.4% of my money, not 6.4%. Lolly fucking do that. I came under 0.2% lower than your estimation. But who the fuck are you to give an estimation anyhow? That's how it is in the CPI. The numbers went up. The data was worse. It would cost more to get groceries. It costs more for food and rent. It costs more for your interest if you got credit cards. There are higher interest rates on anything from the three month to the 30 year. And they're saying it was a good report because some asshole who gave the estimations, it didn't quite hit his estimation. Who the hell are these guys giving the estimations and do they have any back end deals in place? Like really guys and gals? When the CPI comes out over, who, who gives a fuck? It came out lower. It came out lower than they estimated. It still was up. I, that's like you saying you need a $600,000. You have $600,000 to spend. And the estimated budget comes in at $700,000. Oh, shit. Where the hell am I going to get $100,000 from? But then when you get done, it only comes in at 640000 Are you sitting around saying, holy shit, yeah, we came under $60,000. No, you're like, oh, fuck. We're still $40,000 over budget. But just because the estimation said you were going to be a million or 100000 over budget and you're only 40000 that's still bad. You did very bad. You're way over budget. It's the same thing with inflation, but they're going to sell you a bill of goods that aren't there. That's the point. 
It's not there. The bill of goods is not there. Open your eyes. Open your damn eyes or you're going to lose all your money in these bullshit rallies because that's essentially what they end up being. And the other thing, a question that I am so sick of getting asked, what if it goes up, Tom? What if XRP goes up? Do I seem worried that it's going to go up to all-time highs or anything close to it if I'm liquidated? No. My actions should speak for itself. I'm so sick of the bullshit of what if it goes up? Okay, what if it doesn't? And the evidence overwhelmingly suggests that it's not going to go up to an all-time high from here. Just like I said at 45, just like I said, even if it got to 65, eventually we would come back down lower than we were. I'm not worried. If I was worried, I would be buying it. I'm not worried. Can you see me? I'm not worried. I'm not a financial advisor, so why the fuck should you listen to me? Because honestly, I'm just some asshole you can see yelling at you through this computer screen right now. Or through my tablet. I mean, honestly, I'm showing my face for a reason because I sincerely care about every one of you, but you also need to hear the truth sometime. I get so sick and tired of everybody on YouTube talking about, oh, well, inflation, it's done. We've peaked on inflation based on what? It was worse this month than last month. Oh, we peaked. We peaked because it was less than the experts said. Who gives a flying fuck about what the expert says? I personally don't. And then I get told, well, Tom isn't the bottom at all these people, various names on YouTube. I don't give a flying fuck what they say. I don't. I only care about what I see on the charts. And if you really cared about what they were saying over what I'm saying, why are you here? Let's be honest. And yeah, I'm passionate. And if you just don't see me wild up like this, Something's wrong. The last month and a half, you've got more of Tom. The real Tom. I'm not going to bullshit you. Hashtag the FUD stops here. And if you can't handle that, you probably shouldn't be here. I'm a FUD free zone. Yes, it hurts feelings. Somebody has to do it. And if it has to be me, so fucking be it. But when I've got what's going on, with the monetary policy and a, a generation or two generations or three generations of people that don't understand. When the USA, the citizens don't understand what's going on. That you need to take advantage of an overinflated dollar and get your silver and gold. When we have a whole generation of people that just don't understand. You just don't get it. And it's because everybody's lying to you on social media. I get it. I'm one person who understands the bigger game, folks. I understand. And it's not just crypto. It's not just crypto. While everybody's been losing their nut and losing their shit over crypto, what did I do? I had a small pivot last week. A very small one, I admit. In the B2 gold. Made me 239 bucks in a week. On 1100 bucks, that's not bad. That's 21%. I still have $1,000 to the side to buy uh, Petroleo. Couldn't buy it last week because it wasn't ready. And now in the last week, it's down 18.5% in the week. Well, so commodities aren't as easy as it looks, folks. I just happened to pick the right one because I understand a chart. B2 Gold's up 21% in the same time Petroleo's down 18.5%. So if I would have put that $1,100 there, I'd be down plus 200 be minus 200 instead of being plus two, whatever. But you have to pay attention. I do things outside the ordinary. I understand more than just crypto. There's not very many people who are going to give you an XRP chart that understand the monetary policy as good as I do, that understand the federal funds rate, that understand the yield curve, that understands everything from the three year to 30 year government bonds, that understands precious metals and the DXY and oils, and foreign stocks, and that can diversify your portfolio if you just listen for free. There's not anybody else that you're watching that covers XRP. I guarantee it that can give you the information that I give you on a daily basis. I 100% guarantee that. So XRP, what's happening? Exactly what I said yesterday. Exactly. I said XRP was sneakily trying to put in a head and shoulders 
to try to invalidate the inverted head and shoulders. And that's what I drew out and put it as my picture for yesterday's update. One of, I don't even know, four updates yesterday. The day before I did nine. The day before I did that, I did eight. Today, this is the fifth. And I just got done doing an hour live. So first of all, we're going to look to pass 405. But before I go, this is what I want you to see. I hope the message has been heard because it was a doozy. And you need to hear it. I'll tell you if I'm worried. I'm not worried. I got to go deal with my son, as you can hear. He came out here to get me. Perpetual future chart. This is what we're trying to do, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing more, nothing less. We're trying to come up to the 427. If we get back up within there, then we'll talk about it. If we get back within the ascending triangle plus 44 cents, the plus minus is 427 to 44. If we break back above 44, we might have something going. 427 is where I'm looking to get the rejection. Nothing more, nothing less. Join Tom's Army. Look in the video description below. Join me on the exchanges on BitGet. On Mexi especially because there's no spot fees, no VPN, and no... KYC in the USA, and you can leverage it up to 200x. And then upholds where I trust things most if things hit the fan. And then pay attention to Tether. Hit that motherfucking like button. Don't let me down. Hashtag the FUD stops here, period.